Welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has three scriptures to accompany it. The first is 2 Corinthians 2, 7 in the New International Version Bible. It reads, Now instead you ought to forgive and comfort him so that he will not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. The meaning Paul explains why he delayed coming to visit the Corinthians. In great anguish, he had written a painful letter to tell them they must correct a man among them. This person may have challenged Paul's authority as an apostle of Jesus. The Corinthians disciplined the man and he repented. Paul told them to forgive him if they don't. The man may be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. The goal is to build the man back up and welcome him into full participation in the family of faith. The second scripture is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 9 in the New International Version Bible. It reads, With their mouths the godless destroy their neighbors, but through knowledge the righteous escape. The meaning Proverbs chapter 11 verses 9 through 15 continues Solomon's wise sayings, mainly addressing the speech of the righteous and the speech of the wicked. The righteous person speaks wisely and causes others to rejoice and be blessed. In contrast, the wicked person speaks foolishly and causes trouble. The third scripture is Titus Chapter 3, verse 4, in the New International Version Bible, it reads, But when the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared. The meaning, Titer, Titus, chapter 3, verses 4 through 7, is a poetic description of how God saves us. Rather than depending on our good deeds, God rescues us on the basis of his mercy. When a person accepts Christ, they experience regeneration, meaning a spiritual cleansing. God generously gives us the Holy Spirit and forgives our sin through his grace. Now for the message given on August the 2nd 2021 find safety now my dear one for very soon there will be much chaos and calamity in the world much abounds behind closed doors to benefit the elite at the expense of the regular citizens of society once plans begin moving forward, there won't be time to relocate. If you feel uneasy where you are, then there probably is a good reason for it. Get discernment from me, your Heavenly Father, as to whether or not you should leave and move elsewhere. This uneasiness is your instinctive ability to trust your gut. Intuition is present in all of my children, and if you have been feeling an uneasiness you can't quite put your finger on, then ask me and I will reveal to you what to do next. Many times you feel like telling someone who's hurt you, you're sorry for what happened between the two of you, but up to this point, you have not mustered up the courage to let go of your pride. Do it now and watch how the both of you will seem to pick up where you left off. Don't let haughtiness destroy a friendship well suited for the both of you. It's time to forgive and remember what's important love, trust, joy, and happiness. Without forgiveness, you can't have any of these things. With undying love, 
God the Father and Jesus the Savior. So, there are dual messages, two different messages for two, seems like specific people, or the one with relocating could be more than one person, obviously. Uh, the one about the two friends could be, it could be more than one person, but it's probably in particular for one specific group of people, a couple friends. And the messages, the, the first one I believe is a warning. The way that things are going right now in these last hours, if you don't feel right where you are, then you should get on your knees and ask God what he wants you to do and learn to listen to his voice in your quiet place, in your prayer closet, and get some discernment. And you can ask God for confirmations, too. And he does give you confirmations because that's what he does for me. Whether it be in music or it could be sometimes I'll get different visions of something and then I'll see it, whether it be watching a television program or just see it in my daily tasks or when I'm walking my dog, I'll see different things. So those are confirmations. And the message for the two friends, forgiveness is key. Remember, uh, Jesus died on the cross to forgive us of our sins. And as long as we have faith in him, we're forgiven and we'll be, and we repent of our sins, we'll be accepted into the kingdom of heaven and the scriptures in second corinthians talks about forgiveness and that's sometimes it's hard harder to do than what you know someone tells you just forgive them because you still remember what they did to you but it releases that burden from you and if you can just remember or think of them, if they won't come back to you, if you can think of them, if they're a prodigal son or daughter, if you can think of both of you like hugging each other and forgiving each other, even if they're not there, that sometimes helps. And it takes a while to learn how to forgive. But that's what the scripture in 2 Corinthians 2, 7 points out, because it can be overwhelming if you don't forgive and with Proverbs, if you're ungodly and you don't treat your neighbors with righteousness, that you won't be blessed, that the righteous person speaks wisely and causes others to rejoice and be blessed. And the foolish people that are that speak against their neighbors causes trouble. So I don't know if this is pertaining to the two friends. Maybe they got into a verbal argument and this is pertaining to them. Or I can think also the way things are going. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with this pandemic, but if people are going to start, you know, telling on people that are their neighbors and making up lies, I don't know if that's what that means. I hope not. I hope that isn't the case. And in Titus, talks about the kindness and love of God, our Savior appeared, how God saves us. Rather than depending on our good deeds, he saves us through his mercy. And that, I believe, lends itself back to that first message. If you feel like you need to relocate, that he's giving you that feeling in your gut that you really shouldn't be there because something bad might happen there. So 
take it to the Lord. Every message that I give, please take it to the Lord for discernment. Don't just take my word for it. Get confirmation on it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it. And if, if this video speaks to you directly, please leave your testimony down in the comment section. I pray for each and every one of you daily that the blood of Jesus covers you and protects you from any harm. And if you like the video or you like my channel, please consider subscribing. And thank you and have a blessed day in the Lord.